Hello there and welcome to a new tutorial on Flutterflow and this time we're going to talk about ad banners. We've recently added a new feature for you to enable ad mob advertisements within your application and it's super simple to add it. So here you can see a sample preview of what we're going to do. Uh, it's a very basic banner that appears on the top of the app and once you click on it or tap on it it should take you to uh, the advertisement, the source of the advertisement. So um, let's go to the Flutterflow webpage to see how this is done. Here I have a basic app that I just added. It has a normal app bar and nothing else. What do we do is we scroll down to the ad banner, drag it in, and now we have a preview of our ad banner. This doesn't show any ads within the UI builder. All it does is shows what the approximate location of the ad would be within your app. So tapping on it, we can see some properties like the ad properties, the iOS ad unit ID, and, and the ad, Android ad unit ID, which we will shortly go over on how to create those. And then we have the show test ads button. And then further, we have the ad banner dimensions, which have a width and a height. So um, we will go with something like 100 pixels of height and full width. You can also leave this width empty, and it will automatically adapt to the full width of the screen. So now, let's see how we can actually get these test ads to show up on your app. It's quite simple. First, go to Add Mob. Sign in. And now you can see a dashboard of Add Mob. Add Mob is a part of Google, so all you really need is a Google account. Now go to Apps, and then select Add App. Now to create a new AdMob app, you have to specify what platform it is. So for a Flutter app, you would need to create two different AdMob apps, one for each platform, Android and iOS. I'm going to go ahead and create an iOS AdMob app. Then it's going to ask me whether the app is listed on a supported app store. So if your app is currently not on the app store, you can select no. But if it is, then you can select yes. So far, our app is not on the App Store, so we're going to go with no. The reason why they ask this question is because AdMob will not review your created app unless it is on the App Store. And in order to show actual advertisements and to generate revenue from your apps, you need to select yes to this and also supply the URL for your app on the App Store or on the Google Play Store. So for now, we're going to go with no and continue. Then we're going to give the app a name. Testing, AdMob, very simple. Now this is, um, this tells Google whether you want them to take user measures or no, it really doesn't matter for a test app, so we're just going to hit, hit Add App. Now that we successfully added the testing app, we can see this basic dashboard. What we need to do now is to create an add unit. Hit on the add unit button and then hit on the add banner. The add banner is one of multiple advertisement methods and the one that is supported on Flutterflow. So make sure to click on this one and then give it a name. So banner. That's just the basic name that I give to it. And now I have created the ad unit and have the details required for adding it to the application. So uh, when I hit done, I can see a list of the ad units that I've created for my application. Now let's go to Flutterflow and see what is required for this ad mob banner to work correctly. First, let's go to the app settings tab. Over here, you can see that there's a new AdMob tab that has appeared. 
and it has two fields, one for an AdMob iOS app key and one for an AdMob Android app key. So go to Google AdMob, click on your banner, click on implementation instructions, and you can see that the first number is your app key for iOS. You can see the Apple logo next to it. Right? This app is an iOS app anyways, so the app key will only work for iOS. So we're going to copy that, go to Flutterflow, paste it in the AdMob iOS app key. Now since we're not testing it on Android right now, it doesn't matter whether we have the Android app key or not. You could create a new Android app and then paste it in here. So the next step is to go into the UI builder, tap on the AdMob banner, and add the iOS add unit ID. Now note that these two IDs are different from each other. There's an ID for the app itself, the whole app, and then there's an ID specifically for the add banner. So I'm going to go on the Google AdMob tab, and the second number is the add unit ID. So I'm going to copy that, go into Flutterflow, paste it in, and now I'm pretty much all done. Um, all I really need to do is uh, download the app. Now, a couple of caveats here. As I said before, because your app is currently not reviewed, as you can see here, it says requires review, you, you will not be able to show any real ads. So what you should do and what Google requires you to do if your app is not approved yet and when you're testing your app is to show test ads. Google may potentially ban your account if you uncheck this. So make sure while you're in development mode to show test ads at all times. So now let's go ahead and download our application. We'll go to view code, hit download code, and then wait for it to download. So now that we've downloaded our project, we would go ahead and unzip the file for our app and then open the folder. So now I'm going to go to VS Code, hit New Window, click Open, go to Downloads, select the Ads Test folder for our code gem, and then hit Open. And then here, what I'm going to do is in the ter terminal, I'm going to hit flutter pub get. As you'll see soon, all the errors will disappear. Now all I have to do is hit run and debug. Now our app opens and we can see the test ad appearing on the top. It's as easy as that. There's no more setup that you would need to do. And uh, yeah, once you've published your app on the App Store, then you can go back to Google AdMob. And then here, what you can do is go to App Settings and then select Add App Store. Once here, you can search your app for a name. For example, your app's name is Uber. You can search for that and then hit Add. And then once you hit Save, then um, Google will go ahead and start reviewing your app. 
Once your app has finished review, all you need to do is go back to your project and then disable show test ads.